Welcome to Tiger Lane, the site at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center's COVID-19 mobile testing site. The purpose of this video is to learn how to take a nasopharyngeal swab. Proper personal protection equipment must be worn prior to any patient contact. This helps to protect yourself and those around you. The patient's demographic information is confirmed and they are advised that they may experience brief discomfort or minor epistaxis during testing. Ask the patient to hold their head with their nose towards you. It may be helpful for them to lean against the backrest of their seat. If the patient's nose is positioned too high for you to comfortably reach, ask them to alter their position. Insert the swab into the nasal cavity. The trajectory of the swab should be parallel to both the nasal floor and the nasal septum. It may be necessary for either you or the patient to change positions in order to achieve this trajectory. Insert the swab until the nasopharynx is palpated. You will feel soft resistance, roughly 6 cm posterior to the nasal inlet. Applying gentle pressure while rotating the swab can help reach the nasopharynx. Once in position, rotate the swab for 5 seconds to collect secretions. You may then remove the swab from the nose. You will now repeat this procedure on the opposite side of the nose. Place the swab in the viral medium and swirl it for five seconds. Release the swab into the vial by breaking the end off at the edge of the tube. Place the tube into a biohazard bag labeled with the patient's information and transfer it to a new sterile bag. Patients can expect the results within the next few days and will be contacted by telephone. If epistaxis occurs during the procedure, Provide the patient with the tissue and ask them to hold firm, steady pressure along the soft part of the nose. And don't forget to sterilize your PPE between each patient. Thank you for volunteering as we fight for the health of Tennesseans during the COVID-19 pandemic. With your help, we can slow the spread of the novel coronavirus through access to testing.